Section 16.4, the pH scale. The pH scale is rather easy, but it's based upon something that is <clears throat> deficient in a lot of people's math background. They don't know a lot about it. If they've done it, they didn't understand it maybe. So let me explain that it's actually not that bad. A logarithm, there's a couple different logarithms on your calculator. You have an LOG button, which is a, a base 10 logarithm, and then you have an LN button, uh, or an E button, I think, an e, e button, which I think is a perhaps base 2, something 2.14 or something like that. So base 10 is actually pretty cool. L let's just remind ourselves of um, scientific notation. If I have um, 1.00 times 10 to the negative 3, okay, a log rhythm in base 10 is wh it, what you're asking for when you want the log in base 10, which is your LOG, okay? So what is the log of this? Well, when you're asking yourself the logarithm, you're asking yourself, what do I have to raise? I'll put LOG just to remind ourselves it's base 10. What do I have to, to, to raise 10 to to get the answer? Okay. Now you're going to see that these are always going to be easy. There's nothing hard about it. What do I have to raise 10 to, to get 10 to the negative 3? Well, I have to raise negative 3. So the log in base 10 of something raised to the negative 3 power is negative 3. The pH is going to be the negative logarithm of the concentration. Okay, so the concentration, let's say I have the concentration uh, that's neutral. Okay, a concentration that's neutral which is 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Okay, that's a concentration. Well, what is the logarithm of 1 times 10 to the negative 7? What, no, what, what do I have to raise 10 by to get this answer? Well, I have to raise 10 to the negative 7 to get 10 to the negative 7. So it's negative 7. But I want the negative log. So if I want the pH, so if I want the pH of this, 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7, then I want to take, uh, then I want the negative logarithm of this. Well, the logarithm of this is that exponent. The negative logarithm is the negative exponents. My, ne my exponent's negative 7. That means my, uh, ec my exponent or my logarithm is going to be 7. So the pH of a neutral, something neutral, is going to be 7. So if I have just as much hydroxide as I have um, hydronium, then hydronium and hydroxide are both going to be equal. And remember, they add up to 14. So 7 plus 7 is 14. N something times negative 7 times something times negative 7 is something to the negative 14. And you remember K sub W, K sub W, which is your equilibrium constant of water, is going to be the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide. And it's going to be 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14. Well, what is the, what is the pH of that? Okay, the pH of this is 14. So the pH is the pH or the K, the P sub K, P sub KH, if you want to think of it as that way, is 14. Well, what's the, at, what is the concentration of, uh, at, of water? The hydronium is going to be times 10 to the negative 7, times 10 to the negative 7, sorry, times 10 to the negative 7, that gives you the K sub W is 10 to the 14. So what you're going to see is that the pH plus the pOH is always going to be 14. So you can subtract one from the other. So you're going to need a couple different things. First of all, you're going to have to remember that the pH is the negative log of the concentration. To say that backwards, to say that inverted, if you instead of solve for pH, 
you solve for the concentration of ion of hydronium. So let's say you solve for that. Okay. Well, what am I going to do for this? This is not multiplied. Log base 10, this is going to be the reciprocal. The concentration of hydronium is going to be 10 raised to the negative pH. Okay, so the constant, let's, let's see if we can make this match. What's the concentration of hydronium of, of neutral? Okay, well, it's going to be equal, so it's going to be negative 7 and negative 7. Well, the concentration is 1 times 0, 1.00 0 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. That's the concentration. And that's going to equal to the negative, or 10, to the negative pH. Okay, well, what is my pH? If, if the concentration is negative 7. Well, the, con the, the pH is the negative log, and the log is that exponent, and that exponent has to be negative, so it has to be 7. So the pH is 7. Well, 10 to the negative 7 equals 10 to the negative 7. All right, so you have two things to know. pH equals the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. Or, or if you want to think of it as proton, and that the concentration of proton or the concentration of hydronium is going to be 10 raised to the negative pH. Okay, 10 raised to the negative pH. So if your pH is more than 7, it's going to be higher number of hydroniums, lesser number of hydroxides, and it's going to be acidic. If it's higher number of hydroxides, lesser number of, of hydroniums, you're going to have a basic quality and it's going to be higher towards the 14. Something very tricky uh, that you have to really kind of put your put your brain to. If you have the number of significant figures in your concentration equals the number of decimal places in your pH. May I say that again? The number of significant figures, okay, so the number of significant figures in the concentration, okay, say the concentration of, of uh, hydronium, is going to be equal to the number of decimal places, places after the decimal point, in your pH. Okay, that'll really trick you and trap you. So if there's two significant dig figures in your concentration, that means you have to have two decimal places, two places past the decimal point in your pH. All right, let's do a couple examples. Calculate the pH of an aqueous ammonia solution that has a concent hydroxide concentration of 0 0.0019. Well, I want the concentration of hydronium. I don't want the concentration of hydroxide. It's pH is the concentration of hydronium. So I need to figure it out. Well, I know that the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide equals the K sub W. So it equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if I divide by the concentration of ammonia, then I have the concentration of uh, hydronium. So the point zero 0.09 goes here, and then the K sub W divided by the point zero zero 0.0019 gives me, this is my concentration of hydronium, okay? That's what I've got. Now, I want the negative log of that. So I just look immediately to the exponent. Here's the exponent. It's negative 12. What is the exponent negative exponent? Right? Because the, the logarithm is the exponent of 10. 10 to the something. That's the exponent. What is the negative of that? Well, the negative of 12 is... Uh, or neg negative, tw negative of negative 12 is, is positive 12 problem is you've got 5.3, so I'm going to have to put the whole thing in my calculator, okay? So I'm going to have 5.3 times 10 to the minus 12, okay? Now I'm going to hit the log button, and then I'm going to hit the negative button, and I have 11.2757. Well, how many significant digits do I do? I go back to the concentration. The concentration had... The concentration of OH had 2. That means the concentration of my hydronium had 2. That means that since I had two significant digits here, I have to have two decimal places there. So it becomes 11.28. Last slide. 
Acid rain is a matter of serious concern because most species of fish die in waters having a pH lower than 4.5 to 5. Calculate the hydronium concentration in a lake that has a pH of 4.5. Well, I ask you to do two different things. I ask you to memorize that the pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. And I also ask you to find out that the concentration of hydronium is equal to 10 to the negative pH. Okay, so I'm going to put 4.5 in for the pH, and I'm going to say 10 to the negative 4.5. Okay, so this is my y to the x button on your calculator. You're just going to take 10, raise it to the 4.5 power. Uh, negative 4.5 power because it's negative pH and I get 3.3 times 10 to the negative 5. So 3.5, you have to round it, 3 times 10 to the negative 5 molar will be the concentration of the acid in the lake if it has a 4.5 pH.